Dave Rich, who fancies himself pretty handy with a baseball bat. He's a one-time corporate high flyer who's gone bankrupt and has left his wife with debts in the millions and facing eviction from the family home. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, this is wonderful. Dave, don't do it, mate. What do you got the bat for, mate? Just really, really, really nasty. Dave, put the bat down, Dave. My whole life with him's been a lie. Why do you keep doing this? What are you doing? To the naked eye, I can see that they're not my signature. Five million dollars, she's going to lose her family home. Dave Rich had it all. A beautiful home and family, fast cars, successful businesses, a boat and two hard rock cafes. Welcome to the grand opening of the Hard Rock Cafe Sydney 2011. There he is, smashing guitars alongside Guns N' Roses drummer Matt Sorum at its grand reopening in 2011. How does it feel to have so many celebrities at the opening of Hard Rock Cafe Sydney? Well, it says a lot for the Hard Rock and the brand. But two years ago, Dave Rich hit the wall. Bankruptcy followed, as well as a marriage breakdown, and the hard rock fell into the hands of receivers. He's not the first high flyer to fall on hard times, but the financial mess he's left his wife and two kids in has got to be seen to be believed. He doesn't care if we have $7 a week and I can't afford food. How many times I've sent him a text message or an email saying we can't afford food? He, I don't even get a response. He doesn't care. Kim Rich is stuck in a legal minefield. The bank wants her house because of millions of dollars in unpaid loans she says she never knew about. And even worse, the signature on those loans, purporting to be hers, looks completely different to a real one. It doesn't look much like your signature. No. No, it doesn't look like my signature at all. In fact, it looks like his signature. I mean, he's even crossed his name out on this one and put my name. She's referring to this man, ex-husband Dave Rich. Hi, Dave. G'day. Dan Nolan from A Current Affair. Just wanted to ask you something about this, this signature here of Kim Rich. Is that Kim's signature? It doesn't look like it. Dave's happy to give our camera a shove, but isn't willing to answer any questions about those loans. Five million dollars that she didn't know about. It's a lot of money. Do you think it's funny, do you? Dave, it's not really a laughing matter. Five million dollars that your wife's going to lose the family home over. How's that funny? But it doesn't take long for Dave's smile to disappear. We try again with our questions. Dave answers with a baseball bat. Dave, don't do it, mate. What do you got the bat for, mate? What do you got the bat for? Dave. He's determined to take our camera out of play, not realising there's more than one angle. Put the bat down now. Put the bat down now, please. Thankfully, the bat, bat goes now. back in the boot. Why would you threaten someone with a baseball bat? But the attacks Dave. continue. Dave, Don't touch the camera, mate. Stop touching the Don't camera. Touch the camera. Now he wants to drag our camera stop. and its operator go back on. to his house. Mate, stop touching the camera. That's Let's assault. What you're doing there now is assault. Right. Dave opens his front gate and tries to take the camera, the camera inside, getting our cameraman in a headlock. Let go of the camera. Let go of the camera, mate. Let go. Let go of the camera. Let go of the camera. Let go of my shoulder. I haven't got. I haven't got you, mate. Let go I've got of the camera. camera. In the wrestle, he even steals our cameraman's sunglasses. Let go of me. I'm not touching you, mate. Well, why are you wrapping touching? your cord around me? Dave. I'm a sunny pack, thanks. Dave, before well, turning his attention Dave, to me. Dave, you, why don't you stop this, mate? The bigger question is, what have you, why have you left Kim owing $5 million? Get out that out she didn't way. know about. Get out of my way. Mate, why are you so angry, Dave? Why don't you just do the right thing by Kim? First, he drops a knee. Next time, aims for the head. Why don't you just do the right thing by Kim? and help her out. She's going to lose the family home. Five million dollars, she's going to lose her family home. Off, mate, let it go. That's assault again, Dave. There's more aggression still to come, but ex-wife Kim has seen it all before. Just yelling, screaming the house down, and just being just really, really, really nasty. Really nasty. Saying the most horrible things. They separated two years ago. Kim had no idea of the financial mess she was in, until a letter arrived from the bank. Dear Mrs Rich, by the way, you owe $5 million. And there was a whole lot of loans listed. 
um, of which I knew nothing about. Seven loans all up, some in joint names, others in his business name, some with her as co-borrower, others as guarantor, all using the family home as security, the grand total, $5,030,000. Well, I felt deceived. I couldn't believe that, that this could be happening, that my house was mortgaged over its value, really, and I didn't know about it. I think I might have found something. Her friend Susie stepped in to help wade through a legal quagmire. When St George Bank finally provided copies of the contracts, it seemed there was a simple mistake. The signatures on the loans don't match the one on her passport, but the bank won't release the originals for expert analysis. Basically, they're just saying to me that um, we're not chasing you for the money, so basically you're irrelevant and we just want your house. See you later. It's been hugely unfair. That's yeah. the one. Susie dug up the code of banking practice adopted by St George, which states... If the wife's guarantee of her husband's business is supported by a mortgage over the family home, then the wife is required to obtain both independent legal and financial advice. They know this. And they didn't even give her that option. They didn't even call her and say, you okay with this? Nothing, they never met her. St George Bank said in a statement, Our records indicate that Mrs Rich was given this opportunity, however chose not to act on it and has signed documents to that effect. But the bank won't release those documents either. It will happen again and it could happen to anyone. The house was solely in Dave's name at the time he went bankrupt. But Kim is left fighting eviction in the Supreme Court, trying to prove the loans were made recklessly and deceptively. I just can't believe how bad they've been to deal with. They've bullied me right from the start. I managed to get to 77 years of age and this is the most stressful time I've ever had. Dad Brian and stepmom Camille are visiting from Adelaide to support. Kim's lawyer is working pro bono, but eviction is imminent. If Kim is to lose this matter, this case, then she's homeless. Her, she's got no relatives in, in, in New South Wales. Not that uh, any of that seems to worry ex-husband Dave. All we want to know is when are you going to help out Kim so she doesn't lose the family home. That's all we want to know. They're going to be homeless. Your kids are going to be homeless. The former Hard Rock Cafe owner has already stolen our cameraman Sonny's in an earlier wrestle but returns for another round. We're getting sunglasses back. Why have you stolen my cameraman sunglasses? Why do you keep marching into me? Are you always this aggressive? Were you this aggressive to Kim or did you just, you just left her with five million in debt she didn't know about? That's, that's again, you're doing it again. Then Dave tries a new trick. You're doing it again. Oh. No, oh. Mate, no, mate. Somehow tripping over a camera cable that's clearly chest height. Mate, do you want to let go of the cord? I, I don't know what you're trying to do. Our camera hits the deck and Dave wields the cable as a whip before returning to his car. If you get the baseball bat out again, we're going to have to call police. There's absolutely no need whatsoever to be threatening people with a baseball bat. The bat goes back in the car before another crack at me, then the camera, and one more at me. Why do you keep doing this? Mate, it's a public place, let go of it. What are you doing? All we want to do is ask some questions on behalf of Kim. Why did you leave Kim in the lurch for $5 million in debt? Who's in the lurch? It's a bit of a mess down here. It's a little bit of a mess. Kim's once grand house is a shambles. She can't afford to fix the lawnmower, the broken windows or the pool. It would be nice to have the pool for the boys, but um, food on the table is more important than pool. She's surviving on welfare payments and just $7 a week child support from fallen high flyer Dave. I don't ask to have a huge house or, you know, I'm not asking for it that at all, but I just want somewhere that the boys can, I can live that I'm not going to be evicted from. Why did you leave her like that? And we must point out that Dave Rich has no connection to the current hard rock cafes operating in Australia. We'll keep you updated on Kim's case.